Melinda figures out that she has a talking fish. Her father doesn't believe her. This nine-year-old author writes under the pen name Portia Ray. With the help of her mom, she has published four books in the Melinda series. I asked Portia what it's like seeing her stories in print. That feels amazing. How come? Because I get more money and I make people happy when they buy them. Portia's mom, Mallory, has a background in creative writing. She says it's been a good experience for both of them because it's something they do together. Her main character, Melinda, is autistic just like she is. So it's a good way for her to express what's going on in her world and for us to have those conversations about why things might be difficult or why people react in the way they do. Portia Ray is in Cubs and convincing the kids that her books are in the public library was difficult. So when they came for a visit, she couldn't wait to show them her books that could be signed out. We went to get them. We found that they were already borrowed. And so we didn't have any proof that they were out. And then we, we came home and asked mom that um, if we can get more in there. Portia has two more books coming soon. Melinda and the Substitute Teacher is one of the next titles that will be released. Dealing with substitutes, dealing with change, that's an area of significant weakness. But we've been able to practice it a gazillion times over in the book and that helps her know what tools she has in the classroom and how to get through it on her own. I'm hoping to write maybe 21 books because there's 21 chapters in the books. Well, she pretty much has six down, so that's only 15 more to go. It's been a really positive experience for both of us. I don't know why it's Melinda and her father. The mother doesn't make a single appearance in any of the books. <laughs> in Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.